But let's talk about something a little more serious. I know close, closing downs are serious as well. But uh, very recently, um, the last member of the Little Rock Nine passed away. Um, I know we don't really talk about um, celebrity deaths anymore on this show. But this one caught my eye, and I thought it was something that we really should talk about. And it really kind of made me mad um, that more people weren't talking about this on social media when I saw it happen. And when I think something deserves more attention, that's something that, you know, we have a platform. So let's give it more attention, yep. right? So her name was Thelma Mothershed Ware. She was one of nine black students who integrated a high school in Arkansas's capital city of Little Rock in 1957, while a mob of white segregationists yelled threats and insults. She died at the age of 83, um, right around October 20th, um, somewhere in there. Um, Mothershed Ware died Saturday. Um, this was, again, uh, the 21st when this was written. At a hospital in Little Rock after having complications from multiple sclerosis, um, her sister Grace Davis confirmed Sunday to the Associated Press. The students who integrated Central High School were known as the Little Rock Nine. I really implore you guys to look this stuff up, too. These nine people were absolute heroes, in my opinion. Um, for three weeks in 1957, September of 1957, to be a, in... Uh, in um, to be exact, um, Arkansas Governor Orville Faubus used the National Guard to block the black students from enrolling in Central High. This was three years after the U.S. Supreme Court declared that segregated classrooms were unconstitutional. So three years after that was that basically segregation in schools was deemed to be unconstitutional. Um, the governor of Arkansas was using the National Guard to bar black students from integrating a white high school, which wasn't a white high school anymore, um, according to the Supreme Court. Now, President Dwight Eisenhower at the time sent members of the Army's 101st Airborne Division to escort the students into the school on September 25th, 1957. Now, you can watch um, documentaries and things on this. On YouTube, lots of information out there on it. But essentially, you had the Arkansas National Guard that were lined up in front of the frickin' school. And these nine little kids were being escorted by the 101st Airborne Division of the United States fucking Army into class. Okay? <laughs> My how things have changed um, in the 70 years since. Um, Davis said she was enrolled at the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville when her sister and the other students, and I, I'm going to say their names because they deserve to be known. Um, their yep. names were Minnie Jean Brown, Elizabeth Eckford, Ernest Green, Melba Patillo, Gloria Ray, Terrence Roberts, Jefferson Thomas, and Carlotta Walls, um, Integrated Central High School. Um, I, I didn't think anybody was really going to hurt her because, you know, we've had racial incidents in Little Rock over the years, Davis said of her sister. People would say things that were mean, but they never really hurt anybody. Davis also said in the years that followed, she and her sister spoke about the experience. I think one time somebody put some ink on her skirt or something when she was coming through the hallway. And of course, there was always name calling, Davis said. But she never really had any physical confrontations with any of the students up there. Now, the governor closed all of the schools in Little Rock in 1958. Okay, this was a few months later. To try to avoid further integration. Now, Mothershed went out of state in order to finish her remaining high school classes. The academic credits transferred back to Little Rock, and she ultimately earned her diploma from Central High School. Um, she was always a fighter, Davis said of her sister. She's been sick her entire life. She was born with, congenital, with, a, with a congenital heart defect and was told in an early age that she would never get out of her teens. So as she approached her 16th birthday, I remember Mother talking about how afraid she was because she thought she was going to die. But she did what she wanted to do. She enjoyed life. 
Now, Mothershed earned a bachelor's degree in home economics education from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale um, and a master's degree in guidance and counseling from Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. She married Fred Ware in 1965. The couple had one son named Scott, two grandchildren, and two great-grandchildren. Her husband died in 2005, and Mothershed Ware moved back to Little Rock. Now, according to the National Park Service, Mothershed Ware worked in the East St. Louis, Illinois school system for 10 years as a home economics teacher and for 18 years as a counselor for elementary career education before retiring in 1994. She also worked as the juvenile detention center of uh, the St. Clair County Jail in Illinois and was an instructor of survival skills for women at the American Red Cross. Each member of the Little Rock Nine, um, I just got a pop up. Each member of the Little Rock Nine, and another pop up, was awarded a congressional a congressional gold medal, and they donated them to the William J. Clinton Presidential Library and Museum in Little Rock in 2011. So that's cool. Last member of the Little Rock Nine has passed away. At the age of 83, again, Thelma, Mothershed, Ware, um, kudos to you um, for changing the world for the better. I saw that. I was upset that it wasn't getting more attention. And I hope yeah. you guys, if you are hearing the sound of my voice, will check that story out. Because they are all um, heroes, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. 